And it's about time for my second game of Jeopardy! Second Edition for the PlayStation that you see right here in my hand. So far in one game, I've won $25,000. I would definitely like to add on to my $25,000. Let's find out if I can. <gasps> Here, watch out for the remote tiger. <laughs> Hi folks, I'm Johnny Gilbert. Let's just take care of a little business, then we'll get to our game. Normal game? Okay. So how many people out there? One player. As I try to add on to my $25,000 in cash. Here are the categories for the Jeopardy run. We're ready. TV and film, pairs, Asian capital, Frank Sinatra, WW2, and here's the final category. He's my vice president. I'm ready. Your choice, player one. TV and film, 100. It's the hit 1996 film that popularized lines like your money, baby. Uh, what is Jerry Maguire? Player one. Good answer. No. Sorry. That's wrong. Not Jerry Maguire. Player two. Swingers. Oh, okay. That's it. Player two, you choose. I'll take... TV and film for 200, please. The man seen here directed this 1941 cinematic masterpiece. I would have been surprised if, if, uh, and, 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 first, if, what is Citizen Kane? Player one. Well done. Yes. TV and film for 300. Player one, what will it be? In 1998, this MASH star made a smashing return to Broadway in the hit play, Art. Who is Alan Alda? Player one. You got it. TV and film 400, please. This TV radio station featured Dr. Johnny Fever, Venus Flytrap, and Les Nesman on the air. What is WKRP? Player one? Exactly. And TV and film for 500, please. Usum Kasana and Tamberlaine the Great was played on Broadway in 1956 by this future starship captain. Who is William Shatner? Player one. Right you are. Alright, I'll take pairs for a hundred. About this title pair, Sammy Khan wrote, You can't have one without the other. What is love and marriage? What are love and marriage? Player one. That's it. I'll take pairs for two hundred. And he did a little. These two left the scene together. What are the dish and the spoon? 
player one. The dish and the spoon. Let's just go ahead and put that. Oh! Oh, the dish and the spin! Oh, shoot! I wasn't paying attention. Yeah, the dish and the spoon. I meant to put spoon, but I put spin. I was not paying attention. What is China? Player one. That's right. Asian capitals two hundred. Player one. New Delhi. What is India? Player one. Definitely. And I'll take Asian capitals for three hundred. What is South Korea? Player one. Right, you are. Asian couples four hundred. What is Malaysia? Player one. Yes. And I'll take Asian couples for five. Hanoi. What is Vietnam? Player one. That's right. Let me have um, Paris for three hundred. After the singing duo split, she won an Oscar, and he was elected to Congress. Who are Sonny and Cher? Player one. Yes, indeed. I'll take a uh, pair of 400. An auction of five barrels belongings raised money to fund moving his grave next to this one. Who is Bonnie Parker? Player one. Well done, yes. And I'll take uh, 500 for pairs. Chang and Eng Bunker were the first famous twins of this time. What is Siamese? Player one. Definitely. Frank Sinatra for 100. Well known Sinatra nicknames include Old Blue Eyes and Chairman of This. What is the board? Player one. Frank Sinatra, 200. A fireman's son, Francis was born in Hoboken in this state on December 12, 1915. What is New Jersey? Player one. Well done, yes. Frank Sinatra for 300. Frank was paid $8,000 to play Maggio in this 1953 Eternity film. What is from here to eternity? Player one. That's it. Frank's an for 400. Frank serenaded this young daughter in the song The Girl with the Laughing Face. Player one. Uh, who is Nancy? Yes, indeed. All right, finish it off. It was Francis A. Sinatra's middle name. What is Albert? Player one. That's it. All right. I will go with World War Two for a hundred. On December seventh, nineteen forty-four. This man and de Gaulle were meeting in Moscow to sign a Franco-Soviet pact. Uh, who is Stalin? Player one. Definitely. 
Definitely. World War II 200. In addition to this suicidal air squadron, Japan had the Type 10 human torpedoes. I don't know. Player two. What is the kamikaze? Well done, yes. Player two, you choose. He's my vice president for 100 Alex. Nelson A. Rockefeller. I'm not too sure about this one. Player three. President Jerry R. Ford? You're correct. Gerald Ford, yeah. Player three, it's your turn. He's my vice president. For 200, please. Hubert H. Humphrey. Player two. LBJ, Lyndon Baines Johnson. That's right. Your choice, player two. I'll try. He's my vice president. For 300. Hannibal Hamlin. I don't have an idea. Player three. President Abraham Lincoln. You're correct. Player three, what will it be? He's my vice president for 400, Alex. Calvin Cooley. Warren G. Harding. He's my vice president for 500. Skyler Colfax. I don't know. Player two. President Ulysses S. Grant? Definitely. Player two. WW2 for 300. Answer the Daily Double. Player 2, your wager, please. 900, okay. Around 300,000 of these national troops were called up in 1940, more than doubling the size of the U.S. Army. Player 2. What are the National Guard troops? Yep. WW2 for 400, please. In December 1943, he was named a marshal and became president of a Yugoslavian Liberation Council. I don't know! Player 3. Who is Tito? You got it. Here's the final answer on this board. After this harbor was bombed, Nimitz was made commander-in-chief of the U.S. Pacific Fleet. Uh, what is Pearl Harbor? Player one? 6000 dollars is what I finished the Jeopardy round with. See if you like these categories in the double jeopardy round. Thirteen letter words. Literary matters. How sweet it is. Saturday Night Live oh. alumni. What's cooking? And to finish the board, pro sports team. <laughs> SNL alumni. For 200, please. 
1998, he hit the big screen as Dr. Doolittle. Who is Eddie Murphy? Player one? Definitely. Sorry, that level, I'm not for 400. Player one, your turn. She's played Dr. Mary Albright on TV's Third Rock from the Sun. Uh, who is Jane Curtin? Player one. Right. Sorry, not level alumni for 600, please. Daily Double! Enter a video oh! Player one, please make your way. I'm gonna bet the farm. In 1991's Father of the Bride, he played wedding planner Frank Egelhofer. Martin Short. One. You're a gambler, player one, but you're right. Way to go. Sorry, that level of my freight hundred. This African American comic hit the streets and lethal weapon four. Who is Chris Rock? Player one. Fourteen thousand dollars now. It's starting that level. I'm not for a thousand. This one-time regular got an Oscar nomination for her role as the frustrated fiance in In and Out. Who is Joan Cusack? Player one. You got it. Uh, Thirteen letter words for two hundred. Astonished. As if suddenly smacked by lightning's heart. What is Thunderstruck? Player one. Right, you are. Thirteen letter words for four hundred. It's the adjective for someone who irrationally fears black cats, or a category like thirteen letter words. What is superstitious? Player one. Thirteen letter words for six hundred. Foul is foul, but pears are fair, and peas should please a follower of this dietary practice. What is vegetarianism? Player one. Yes, indeed. Thirteen letter words for eight hundred. It's a more general term for algebraic. That's just about sums it up. What is a mathematician? Player one? Yes. Okay, I'm sorry, 13 dollars for a thousand. From lower Latin for killing, it's the kind of shame that's so humiliating you could just die. I don't know this one, so I'm gonna hold back. Wait a minute. Never mind. Player one. What is the capitation? No. No, that's not right. Sorry. Player two? Oh, mortification. You got it. Your choice, player two. What's cooking? For 200, Alex. After she cooked an omelet on a book review show, WGBH created the French chef for her. What are fettuccine? Player one? Right you are. Your choice, player one. <laughs> What's cooking for 400? After she cooked an omelet on a book review show, WGB8 created the French chef for her. Who's Julia Child? Player one? Well done, yes. I'll take what's cooking for 600. A type of endive and a type of waffle take their names from this European country. What is Belgium? Player one. You're correct. I'll take uh, what's cooking for 800, please. 
Maple syrup or molasses can be used to form sticky balls of this puffy corn snack food. What is popcorn? Player one. One of my favorites. You got it. I love popcorn. What's cooking for a thousand? This fitness guru, who grew up big in Louisiana, urges one to eat to live, not live to eat. Uh, who is, uh... Player one? Oh, Richard Simmons! Literary Matters 200. David Copperfield is considered this British author's most autobiographical novel. Uh, who is Charles Dickens? Player one. You're correct. Literary Matters 400. This author, seen here, wrote the 1982 novel The Running Man under a pseudonym. Looks like Stephen King, so I'm going to say who is Stephen King. Player one. Yes. Larry Matter 600. In the world according to this character, he's killed by two person. Who is Garp? Player one. And Tiger comes back in here. You got it. I'll take Literary Matters for 800. George Orwell bragged about this kingly Shakespeare tragedy. One wicked daughter would have been quite enough. Uh, who is, what is King Lear? Player one. That's it. All right. Literary Matters for 1,000. Novel in which Hawthorne wrote, On the breast of her gown in fine red cloth, Appeared the letter A. What is the scarlet letter? Player one. Right, you Woo! How sweet it is, or how sweet it is for 200. It boasts that it's the world's most popular sugar substitute. What is sweet and low? Player one. I think nonetheless my run's going to continue. You got it. How sweet it is for 400. This 1969 hit was Neil Diamond's first million seller. What is Sweet Caroline? Player one. Exactly. How sweet it is for 600. They're the female counterpart of male barbershop quartet singer. Player two. The Sweet Adelines. Okay. Yes. Player two, you choose. Oh, pro sports. Oh boy. Sports. For 200, please, Alex. Kansas City's Major League Baseball team. Oh. Player three. Kansas City Royals. That's it. I was going to say that. Player three, what will it be? Pro sports teams. For 400, please, Alex. Indianapolis's National Football League team. What are the Indianapolis Colts? Player one. You're correct. I want to go back to how sweet it is for 800. All right! Answer. The day of trouble. Player one, please make your way. I will do $2,000. In 1985, moviegoers went crazy over Jessica Lange's performance as Patsy Cline in this film. Player one.
What is, uh, uh, I think Crazy Sweet Love? Oh, oh Sweet Crazy Love? No, Sweet Dreams. It only cost me 2000 That's okay. How sweet it is for a thousand. This Tennessee Williams play features fading film star Princess Cousins. It was Sweet Dreams. It only cost me $2,000, so that's okay. Player two. Sweet Bird of Youth. You got it. Your turn, Player two. Pro sports teams for 600 please. Phoenix's National Basketball Association. I don't know. Player two. Phoenix Suns. <coughs> Sorry. Let's try pro sports teams for 800, please, Alex. Detroit's National Hockey League. What are the Detroit Red Wings? Player one. Definitely. Here's the final answer on this board. Cleveland's Major League Baseball team. I'm going to try it. Or the Cleveland Indians? There's only Final Jeopardy left. So nonetheless, a third game is guaranteed. Alright, now it's time for Final Jeopardy. I'll show you the category and give you a few seconds to think about your wager. The Final Jeopardy category is Famous Artists. Player 3, could we have your wager? Player two, your wager, please. Player one, please make your wager. I would like to wager... Oops. 2200 Player three. Player two. In a 15-minute long ceremony, his New York townhouse was designated a cultural landmark in 1998. Player one. I'm going to take a guess and say who is Andy Warhol. I wanted to say Frank Lloyd Wright, but he's not an artist. All right, let's see how everyone did. Player three, your question. That's right. It is Andy Warhol. Double their money to two thousand dollars. Player two, your question. Sorry. Michael Bis. Yeah, I don't know how you say that, but it's okay. Doesn't matter because I win. Player one, your question. Andy Warhol. That's right. And your wager was twenty-two hundred. So I go up to twenty-five thousand dollars for a two-game winning total of fifty thousand dollars. Our big winner, player one. So I'm at fifty thousand dollars in just two games. Thanks for playing Jeopardy. Hope you had a good time. So long, everybody. So there will be a third game guaranteed. I'll see you all for my next video soon.